Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas, and we're here today with the all-new PowerMig 262 MP. So this is part two video of the, uh, this series on the 262. Uh, part one, I welded with it. We'll link that down below. Uh, ran aluminum with it. But in this one, we're going to go over the uh, multiprocess, what it compares to, uh, the pulse, the memory setting, and kind of give an overall of a review of uh, what this unit can do and what it comes with right out of the box. So we'll jump right into that. So what came with out of the boxes, when we unbox it, it is just ready to MIG weld. So you got your dry rolls, your MIG gun, your ground clamp, uh, your inlet guides, and everything ready to just MIG weld. So to, we'll, and we'll link everything down below, but it, this multi-process unit will TIG, DC only, and stick weld. And then there is a direct connect spool gun that you can also buy for this thing. Um, and so those are the other options, and we'll link them all down below, but you can get all that to fully set up for this as a multi-process unit. Uh, what it compares to in the field, as far as uh, its competition, is the Multimatic series out of Miller. So 255 is the closest. Uh, the 255 compares to this. They're different uh, size-wise, weight-wise. So this thing is a transformer-based machine, so it's going to be your older style machines. Uh, still very, very popular. People want transformer-based machines, and the uh, Miller Multimag is not. It is an inverter style. So that's what that stands out amongst this one. Now, I think this thing welds really, really nice now, but I like the 360 MP as well. Um, so this kind of replaced the 260 and the 256, um, and then they, made, they changed the ready, set, weld function on it, so it's actually easier to set up. Uh, and it is nice because it's just clear cut. You just tell it what you want, and then you can obviously go back to manual mode and do your own wire feed and um, voltage. But uh, it is very nice when you're setting up something, or, or especially when you're running uh, pulse aluminum. It gives you a good base to start at, and then you can adjust from there. Uh, so what we ran on this unit, we ran it on pulse. What I want to show you on the screen here, though, is how to set up the memory. So. If we go home, process, select, we, we're going to go MIG, guided setup, because we want to see everything. So we're in the 5000 series aluminum, 364s, 100% argon. But I did pulse. We're going to do straight CV. We're going to do 10 gauge. And we're going to confirm our polarity. And it gives us a parameter. So when I change my voltage, it's going to give me a, a direct correlation of what my bead's going to look like when I change my voltage, and when I go up, it's going to show me what exactly what it's going to look like. So it's pretty awesome when it it does that. I like that setting where you can see visually. Now to get in the memory, you hit memory setup. Now I already had this one set up because we did the video in pulse and we had everything set up on that 3 8 plate. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to a new one, and then I'm going to push and hold the save. So there you go. Now I got it set up in my memory so I can always go back. So if I want to go back to pulse, one quick flip of the switch, we're going back to pulse. And all we got to do is hit back. And then if you want to go back to pulse, just memory setup, boom, right there's our saved settings. And uh, you can save quite a few settings on this unit. We just wanted, to, I wanted to show you the quickness of that. And uh, so it's very, very nice. And if you forget your settings, it's always nice to have them in that, that home feature. But just we'll go back home. I'll show you guys. There it goes. It jumps back into that screen, and then we can always go process select. So there we go. We got flux core, stick, TIG, and then obviously our system menu that's going to give us everything login wise and all that. But if we, when we want to do like our push pull or our spool gun direct, and, and we want to pulse weld, uh, so this thing does pulse weld. And pulse welding, as you guys may know, it's good for thinner materials, aluminum stainless, that sort of thing when you're running on a MIG. Uh, it will pulse TIG as well. DC only though, no AC output. Uh, so the, the pulse is a nice setting. I ran pulse on the aluminum. Uh, it was very, very nice. It turned out really nice. So it just controls heat input into your part. Um, now straight standard CV, I have no problem with that either. We ran it in that and it ran really, really well. So I was just pushing aluminum through a straight 10 foot gun with a special gooseneck. You can see there it's got a little bit of a 30 degree angle, uh, so it's you don't kink that wire because some of you guys may know running it straight through a gun, uh, it sometimes burden that's really really bad. So they came out with this setup, so you can just run it straight through the gun, no push pull, no spool gun. Um, 
But like I said, those are our options on this unit. And we'll link all that down below. So all in all, the, the, the machine itself welds really, really nice. It's heavy, I will tell you that, but it, it welds really nice. They are reliable. We haven't seen anything come back service-wise, like the 260s, um, so it's a little brother. They, they are older brothers, so they, they, they kind of, some of them came back, but no big major issues. I, it usually was operator error when they came back, and they had some settings messed up, and we fixed them up, but now they've made it so simple that you just tell it what you're doing, and it's going to give you a recommended parameter. So, oh, great machine, uh, ran well on aluminum. Like I said, check that video out. If you got any questions, comments, please leave them down below. We'll do our best to answer them. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for some more.